Well, whether it's brittle nails, joint pain or even heartburn, everyone has that little medical issue that keeps coming back. But instead of reaching for the medicine cabinet, some foods could help keep your body in check. Tell us more. Weekend Sunrise Nutritionist Sarah Di Lorenzo is here. Sarah, good morning good to morning, you. Good morning, Now, you're saying food can help us with all of these things. Let's start with joint pain first. Which yeah, ones? Food is absolutely medicine. So when it comes to joint pain, one of the best things you can do is include three tablespoons a day of olive oil. It contains an antioxidant in it called oleocanthal, which is amazing for reducing that inflammation and pain. And it acts like ibuprofen. So it is amazing. When it, yeah, yeah, olive oil is just there. So when it comes to turmeric, it's got an active compound in it called curcumin, which you need black pepper for the absorption for. If you can get a tablespoon, sorry, a teaspoon of a day in your diet, that would be amazing. One of the ways I do it is I have like a turmeric latte, which is a lot easier. You can sprinkle it over vegetables as well. When it comes to walnuts, five of those on an empty tummy is best. Mid-morning, a cup of blueberries a day. I know they're a little bit expensive now. You can look at frozen. Um, they've got the antioxidants in them, amazing, amazing for pain. And when it comes to leafy greens, three cups a day, beautiful magnesium in there, the vitamin E, the vitamin C is fantastic, all for joint pain. And I've thrown a lot of those together there into a little salad at the front, just showing ways you can combine them. With the turmeric, is yeah. it fine to be having it in that powdered form or do yes. you have to peel it and, you know, get the yellow? It, 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 yeah, no, the powdered, yeah. yeah, it's fine. And there was a great study that showcased up to eight weeks of doing that powdered form at a teaspoon a day. You really started to see wow. joint pain relief. Yeah, there's mm. some great, had so much information on it. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Now, something that Michael has been asking about. He's, he's hating how often he has to get a manicure. Oh, yeah. His nails and, and, and That's definitely not. And sp just, split just ends chewed, so. on his hair as well. Real Nail dilemma. Love hair. Hair. Okay, this is for you, Michael. So, yes. Yeah, so Good. Okay. This, uh, all this morning all... I've been waiting. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is obviously about hair and nails. Now, the thing is, when it's like the college, collagen's the matrix that holds everything together. So you need vitamin C for the absorption. So strawberries are excellent. One cup of strawberries will give you 98% of your recommended daily intake of vitamin C. Just two Brazil nuts have got the selenium, great for hair and nails. That will give you around 200%. Even the omega-3 that you're going to find in pieces of salmon plus the protein is excellent and that would be enough for your recommended daily intake. 100 grams of oysters, that will give you 555% of your recommended daily intake of zinc, which is amazing. Yeah, so but about five bucks an oyster. Yeah, yeah, yeah I so. know, but still, that's great. And eggs have got biotin in them and, and just one egg will give you 33% of the biotin you need, which is a B vitamin, which is so important for hair and nails. So there you have it. I bought most of it together, except for the Brazil nuts, obviously, and the strawberries, in something at the front there. So for anyone tired so, watching this morning, there's a few of us low energy levels. Oh, Are I there love foods this. that can help us here? Are you tired? <laughs> <laughs> Full of beans, Sarah. <laughs> okay, so one of the great best things you can do is start your day with oats. Okay, they've got the B vitamins in them that convert the food we need into energy. Plus, they're a carbohydrate and they just keep you full and they're delicious. One of my favourite things is a banana. Banana's got the natural fibre in there and the sugars in there, which give you that slow release of energy and plus tryptophan too, which makes you feel good. Have you ever eaten a banana and think, oh, I feel good eating that? Well, mm, anyway. It's the tryptophan. It's, it's the tryptophan. I, you know, I'm naive here. I've not heard of tryptophan It's before. an amino acid, yeah, yeah. and amino we find acid, it right. in naturally occurring in foods. Okay. And you also can find it in cashews, and they've also got plant-based proteins in them. I swear, in the morning when I wake up and I'm thinking, I'm procrastinating, should I go for a run? No, it's raining, no, da da, -da. And, I'm, and I start doing that. I'm low in energy, I have a handful of cashews, and I swear, it's not a placebo, I'm out the door within 10 minutes. They're great. Chia seeds are really good. They keep you full, they've got the protein. And as for dark chocolate, mm. not as much caffeine as a cup of coffee, but you're going to get a dopamine hit when you have that too. So four squares of that is great. And also, one thing about low energy, people confuse it with being dehydrated. If you, so if you're feeling, and, and most people I know don't get the recommended daily intake of water, and that is amazing. Go. go and have just a big glass of water. Right. A bit of these in your Excellent. diet every day if you can. Somewhere yeah. will help you with any of those things. Wonderful, Sarah. Thank yeah. you. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank you. Yeah. You can find the information over on the Sunrise website.